I would like to tell you guys about um, an experience I had this past week. Many of you know, I think I talked about it before, that my very good friend Mark had gotten cancer and was dying. Well, he completed his journey on Friday of last week, I believe, um, and uh, his funeral and memorial service were on Tuesday of this week. So I, they were in Portland, which is about a five hour drive from me. I drove up there on uh, Monday, went to the services on Tuesday, and then drove back that night. But in the process, um, you know, the thing that um, struck me was the, you know, the impact that one person had had on my life and the long-term relationship that we had. I've said it many times before, but the level of grief is dependent on the level of connection. When my father died, I didn't feel real grief. I felt relief. You know, when somebody's dangers are harmful, them being not able to harm you more is a good thing, not a bad thing. In um, with my my friend Mark, you know, all that was he, he was the first man that I really ever trusted, um, and he and I worked through our dad wounds together. We we worked on helping each other get free of porn. We we did a lot of really heavy lifting together and we grew spiritually and we built businesses together and we encouraged each other here's the thing those relationships don't just happen you have to take the risks you have to be honest you have to be vulnerable and if that person responds healthily then those relationships can become really powerful and deep um, the healing comes from that that safety and that care the healing doesn't come from information it comes from being cared about Mm. and he and i saw the worst parts of each other we were very honest and we we talked about our internal struggles we talked about what our beliefs were we talked about what we wouldn't say to other people <laughs> he's a very restricted businessman i'm a pastor i'm on the radio and tv you know we had reputations to uphold we couldn't just go to anyone it saved me to be honest with you having somebody like that saved me from a lot of self-destruction i think and so when I was uh, at the service, I, a couple of things I noticed. One was, it's really good to be at a funeral where somebody's being talked about, and it's actually true. <laughs> I've been to so many funerals where they're talking about the person, and I'm like, who are they talking about? <laughs> this person was not like that. This person was not that good a person. They were, you know... Anyway, so, you know, all the glowing comments about him were um, really true. And then all the connection that we had and the transformation that took place in my life. Uh, he, I would have never been on the dove if it wasn't for him. He's the one that oh. set that up and wow. encouraged me to do it. And so before he died, I, I sent him a message and um, just basically delineated all those things. And I said, I told him I didn't want him to die without knowing all the things that he meant to me. Mm. So it was um, the um, it was a very joyful experience to see all those people rallying around him and talking about him and us all having a very similar experience. And needless to say, I was I, I'd been grieving for months prior knowing that he was going to die. And then I grieved, obviously, a lot of the service. And one of the things that made me think about, and I tell you all of this to talk about this, which is that grief really is the doorway to freedom. If you suppress it, it will come out in another way that you don't want. And so it, it, you can't control it. It's not the same for everybody. But when those feelings come up, letting them express themselves whatever way that takes, whether it's crying or whether it's, you know, running or writing or, you know, playing music or whatever it is that you do or can do to express those things, that will lead you to a good place. Um, suppressing always leads to more harm. And then when you don't grieve, like if I didn't grieve the loss of my friend Mark, 
from my perspective, it would be dishonoring the beauty of what that relationship meant. Mm -hmm. My grief is a, is a an honor, is a reflection of the beauty of what it meant. So not to have it is a huge loss. Mm -hmm. And to act like it wouldn't be, um, I think would be uh, a tragedy. So uh, I understand um, what people say when they talk about feeling deep pain and grief, deep, deep loss. I've felt it many times in my life and I've been feeling it all this week. So I just want to encourage you that tears are the blood of the soul. And uh, if you let that stuff out, it'll lead you to a good place.